Hey, this is Kevin Zegers from 50 Dead Men Walking and you're watching Backstage.com. She don't tell me you didn't steal that car. Where are you off, T-Lads? Right, take off them! 50 Dead Men Walking is based in the 70s in Belfast. And it's basically about this young guy uh, in his early 20s who um, lives in an area sort of central to the IRA and is sort of being pulled into that lifestyle. And then is also sort of taken in by Sir Ben Kingsley's character who uh, uh, gets him to start working for the English government. So he's kind of saving lives by letting them know about um, the planned attacks of the IRA, but also, you know, still sort of participating in it. I play this sort of, uh, his best friend, Jim's best friend, um, who's an IRA member, and sort of the draw for him to, to join the IRA. I had worked with Kari Skoglin on this movie, Stone Angel, and we kind of just hit it off really quickly, and she mentioned that she was going to Belfast to shoot this movie, and I was like, oh, that sounds cool, and she gave me the script. And you get a lot of scripts and I was like, okay, well, in like 10 years, I'll be way too old, you know, like that takes so long for these. And she called in six months and she was like ready to go. And, um, and then we, you know, once Sir Ben signed on, it sort of all started coming together and then Jim um, came on and, and then we both just headed out to Belfast and, and uh, started doing research. Everyone sort of knows what's going on there. It's still sort of freshly recovering, I think, from what was a pretty ugly time. And um, I think what Kari did, which was great, was she sort of told them, listen, we're making this movie. Um, thank you for having us, first of all. But like, I don't know whether she put an ad in, the, whatever it was, it, she sort of let everyone know. Um, and we understand that some of you aren't happy about it, but um, we're not here to exploit you. We just sort of want to tell the story as best we can. And, um, this isn't some, you know, we're taking it very seriously and uh, we, we want to sort of do your city and the people the justice they deserve. I hate auditioning. I don't know if any actor says they like auditioning, but they, they're just lying or they're just completely masochistic. Depending on who it's for, it can be an odd venue to like come into a room and sit in front of 15 people who you've never met before and it's sort of like dancing in front of people you don't know. It's kind of like, you, you're just not, it's not, it doesn't inevitably end up being what you're gonna do on set anyway. Fortunately, the more people can like, if people see maybe a couple of things that I've done, they're like, okay, he's like capable of like memorizing lines or like doing research or, and then that doesn't become so much the issue, it's more of like a look thing or a whatever, or a like how, how's their vibe with another actor. And that, that's great, I like that. I like sort of doing chemistry reads and stuff like that. It's just hard sort of standing in front of people with like your shirt on and like, anyway, it's just it's strange.